This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 25, verse 24. All of the woman, it's like of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweshai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I only give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth is sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole full elect scattered abroad. And in this video, I want to touch on the topic of this um, fo this football player, or I believe he actually plays soccer. Um, okay, I, I can't say his name. Um, Akaref Hakimi set to get half of his wife's net worth after she'd filed for a divorce. Okay, so this uh, the soccer player, you know, um, his, his wife, okay, this woman right here, she filed for a divorce. Okay, she filed for a divorce on him, and the reason why she filed for a divorce was because he was getting millions and millions of dollars. And she's, I believe she's an actor or and a model. And she, you know, she had, she had some money, maybe like two or three million is her net worth. But he was getting like, you know, hundreds of millions or whatever. So she got with this man and, and she filed for, for a divorce, which in America, 80% of your divorce rate is initiated by the woman. Okay. You, you, you get down on a knee and marry her and she get up and, and, and go get the papers to divorce you in this, in, in this kingdom, which is why. You know, you shouldn't be marrying these women, man. It's, it's not, not to mention that when you marry these women, you you are you are you are you are getting into a contract and making a covenant with the heathen. Okay, when when a marriage is supposed between a man, a woman, and the Most High, you know the Most High God. But now it's between the man, woman, and the government. All right, but whatever. You know, um, he married this woman, but 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 he you know put put a chess move on her, and he have all his stuff in his mom's name. You know, all he put all he had all this stuff put all his stuff put being put in his mom's name. All his money was in his mom's name. You know, so anytime he needs something, he just calls his mom, you know, which is a genius idea. OK, a genius idea. And you, and you, you know, you, you, you see that in the hood, Jake, you know, they'll they'll you know, they, they'll be dealing drugs and stuff or whatever. You, you know, you have it and they know buy all these cars and stuff, but they'll put it in their mom's name instead of their own name because they know that once they get in trouble or caught. Then they, then they can take it all. You know, you saw that too with Andrew Tate. This guy, Andrew Tate, they was taking all his cars and stuff when he got arrested. And there was no charges even against the man. You know, they had no no actual legitimate charges against the man. But they was holding him and his brother in prison or in jail, you know. And then they started taking his cars and stuff. So, you know, to a certain degree, you, got, you know, you you uh, you, you got you to gotta use your head, man. You got to out, you know, out, out thank the system. So putting all everything in your mom's name or somebody that you trust, you know, is uh is pretty smart, man. A family member, you know. But he did this, and she initiated a divorce, thinking she was going to get everything that he had and destroy him. But ultimately, uh, like I said, everything is in his mom's name, so now she has to pay him. Okay, so it says uh, she has to pay. Is she? Uh, he is set to get half of his, uh, of his wife's net worth. After she filed a divorce, so she pretty much kicked herself in the foot. Okay, but be, why? Because she was being a demon, man. You know, then they saying like it was some allegations of him, you know, graping a woman or whatever. Which you know, like I said, those allegations could be absolutely false. You know, or I, you know that you know they you know you got you got the Me Too movement. I mean, allegations could be complete bullshit. But your woman, you know, she's not supposed to just get up and leave you. She's supposed to stand by you, man, no matter what. You know, if, if she's really your woman. But this woman was not really for this man. OK. And that's why she tried to pull a fast one on him. And ultimately, uh, you know, it backfired on her, you know, and, and you know, all the brothers, you know, that that is hearing hearing this story. Hey, man, this is, you know, did this. This is a good day, you know, because this system is so bent against the man. But now in these end times, you know, this system is is crumbling and it's falling upon you. Evil, wicked women, man. All right. So I don't want to ramble too much. Let's bring this back. It says, um, <clears throat> Ecclesiasticus chapter uh, 25, verse, um, let's go up, actually. It says, um, and you know these scriptures, it says, verse, let's go to verse 16. It says, I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. And this man, he was, you know, married to this woman, 
you know, for whatever, whatever reason, you know, she wasn't doing her job here. He had to go find another woman. That woman tried to, you know, claim grape on him, you know, and, you know, to and, you know, pretty much to destroy him, too. And then and then the woman that he was with, the wicked woman he was with, tried to, you know, run him for everything that, 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 that he has. And it backfired on her. It says the wickedness of a woman changeth her face and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. When you first meet a woman, she's so beautiful, she's so sweet. You know, yeah, you know, she, you know, it's, it's all laughter. It's the, it, what they call it, that puppy love. It's that puppy love. And, and then, and then, when you a couple months to a year in, man, she, you know, screaming and hollering. She, you know, she, you know, you, she, she, you starting to see the demon in her. All right. It says verse nineteen. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her because a woman will marry you. And in this video, I want to prove that, you know, these women only want to marry you to destroy you. They're, them marrying you is not because they love you, not because they want to be together forever. It's to get what you have, man. And only they can get what you have or half of what you have is if they leave you and divorce you. So that eventually is what happens. Like I said, 80 percent of, uh, uh, of the divorce rate is, in, is, is initiated by the woman. OK, probably more than that now. OK, it's initiated by the woman. It says. <clears throat> um, verse 21, it says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. That's what Jake do, man. Jake think what they rod instead of they 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 head, you know, same thing with your big head instead of your, 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 your uh, little head. And you will see these women and you know, a beautiful woman. She may be fine as hell. And, you, and you'll get with her because be, 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 be because you're lusting after her. But really, you know, she's trying to destroy you in any single in every single way possible, man. You know, and these women that, you know, these beautiful women. So, and you know, as you as you, as you will see them, you, you stumble at their beauty. Hey, that that that, that, that woman. Hey, man. OK, the way she sees, she still got a life to damn live. All right. So let's bring it back to verse uh, 24. It says of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her we all die. OK, so the, of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her, we all die. And this video uh, uh, comes from GMS in Rome, um, Lions, um, Lions in Rome. Beautiful brother, you know, always got fire uh, videos. I advise you to go watch it. And his video, he was pretty much going into how when if the, if the, woman, if the woman does leave and divorce or, or they split up, the woman really gets nothing. According to the scripture, she's not supposed to get nothing. OK. Which that vibration is coming back in the earth. So you so because when you allow a woman to get half of what a man has, you know, in a divorce, that's why you got that's why the divorce rate is key is, is just going up. OK. And the women are initiating it because they have nothing to lose. But the man has everything to lose. That's also why nowadays men ain't marrying you women. Nobody. Nobody want to take you seriously. Nobody even want to date you no more. Nobody want to take you out on a date. Nobody want to pay for the bill. No. Nowadays, men just trying to get their rocks off and, you know, for, <laughs> and they forget about your ass, man. It's unfortunate that it has to be that way, but that's the way it is because of you women. Okay, you women did it to yourself. It says, of the woman came the beginning of sin, Eve, when Eve trespassed, uh, 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 trespassed, it says, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. All right? And that's what happens whenever you, um, you, you know, you marry these women, you're giving these women power over you ultimately it says if she go not as thou wouldest have her cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go and the reason why the man like i said the man doesn't usually initiate the divorce is because this woman will take everything that he has but you know in certain in, in the ancient world if one woman if one woman was doing what she's supposed to do she can get divorced but then she or she should get nothing so they said i made it where a woman had to do her fucking role she had to play her part she had she had to be in order okay or she was you know Gonna go, go be screwed. All right. Now, from there, let's go here. I want to bring this to this point right here. <clears throat> so my Twitter, let's go to Twitter real quick. Because I saw this and this is what, you know, ultimately I want to do a video on this topic, but this is what made me, made me have to do a video on this topic. I saw this tweet. All right. Let me find it real quick. Here we go. It says, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go into the tweet, but first I want to see, I'm going to put what I said. It says, these hoes must be destroyed, bro. Prove they only marry you to destroy you anyway. Because a woman, she'll be at her fucking with, you know, the, the, the drug dealers, the scammers, and the ball players all day long. Or, I mean, the drug dealers and the scammers all day long. You know, the, the, the quote unquote bad guys all day long. But then when she meet a man of, of responsibility, that's the man who she want to try to trap into a marriage. So she can take everything, everything thing that he has. But, 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 but those scammers and those drug dealers, you know. That you no, know, she'll let 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 let, let them slug her out, 
and then she'll, you know, come to you and, you know, expect you to take care of another man's child and shit. Don't, it don't fall for it, brothers. All right. <clears throat> Let me, um. Now, now, now I want to show you this evil, 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 evil tweet from this from 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 another demon. Okay, it says this right here is a tweet right here. It says, um, um, Akaraf uh, Hakimi gives me gives me another reason not to get married to a mama's boy. Okay, she's like, gives me another reason not to get married to a mama's boy. Okay, when and she said that because, oh yeah, the man, you know, he 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 gave his, his mom the um you know the the the, the power of all of all, all his wealth, which ain't not wrong with that man. You know, ain't not wrong with that. You know, the fortune has to be that way, but it's the way, way it is in this kingdom. And he played it smart. Okay, it says um. It says, weird how you're feeling the pain. Sleeping with rich men will not make you rich. Success is not sexually transmitted. Work for your own money. Yeah. It says, uh, <laughs> okay, so people just, you know, talk, talk shit to her. But then you didn't see my comment, man. You know, these women... You know, they, they, she said another reason not to get married to a mama's boy. So the whole, whole, whole point of getting married is to take somebody's money. But she knows that if it's a mama's boy, he's probably going to, you know, have his mom in charge of his money. So she's not going to be able to get the money. You see, he's totally wicked, man. Totally wicked, which proves the, the, uh, the uh, point, you know, that, that, that I said about, you know, best therapy, best therapy with this woman all together. But Ecclesiastes or the book of Sirach, chapter 9, verse 1, says, Be not jealous over the wife of thy bosom. I mean, you shouldn't have to, you know, uh, you know, have a ought or, you know, a, a disdainful, you know, taste in your mouth about a woman that, that you're married to or, or a woman that you're with. It says, and teach her not an evil lesson against thyself. So you can't teach these women everything, man. You know, when you deal with your woman, you know, you, you, you got to teach her was profitable for her you know these women think that you know they, they, they're trying to get in your mind and learn learn, learn you they want to know your fears and what make you you know uh you know what what, what makes you cry and shit so and they're going to use it against you so if you teach her that and a great great story is the story of samson you know that woman was trying to figure out uh, the secret to his power and then samson taught her the secret to his power and then she used it to destroy him it says, verse two, give not thy soul unto a woman to set her foot upon thy substance. Meaning don't give your whole heart, soul and spirit and wealth and bank accounts, you know, to a damn woman, man. OK, it says to set her foot upon thy substance, meaning to conquer. When somebody sets their foot upon some upon something or somebody, it means they conquered it. OK, so it says, give not thy soul, everything that you have unto a woman to set her foot upon to set. To, to set her foot upon thy substance. And that's what happens, man. Okay, that's what happens. You get with a woman, you fall in love with her, you know, you 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 pretty much get, get, give her everything. And before you know it, she's taking everything and she's taking it to the next nigga. Okay? These women are not our women. It's just our turn, brothers. All right? Don't be fucking getting all googly eyed over no damn woman. It says, Meet not with an harlot, lest thou fall into her snare. Yeah, you you trying to you trying to meet with these harlots and get with these women. You you know if you constantly chasing some cooch, you know eventually you gonna fall you gonna fall into that snap or that trail and, and, and that snare, man. You know you might get her pregnant. You know she might give you us an STD. Who knows, man? But either way, it's gonna be a a a, 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 a painful experience. Okay, and this and this is a heavy uh, scripture that goes into um you know these women. <clears throat> It's a, it's a heavy chapter. It's a heavy chapter. Look at this. Uh, verse 16. Give not thy soul unto harlots, that thou lose not thine inheritance. You see? So, so don't, 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 don't give your whole, your, 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 your everything to no damn woman. 
because you will debt you will surely lose your inheritance. Whatever you had and everything, whatever you was about to get, now it's going to her. Okay, and that happens a lot, you know. And in this video, the brother gave a great example. He said how his manager was talking about how his, all the stuff that he has and all these houses that he got and all this, that, and the third. And then he, then he, he finished it off by saying, yep, yeah, so, but, but I'm getting a divorce. You know, I'm going through a divorce, which means the woman filed for the divorce and she about to take all that shit, man. It was a guy that I came to our camp a couple weeks ago and the guy was so fucking upset. But, you know, that guy was a fucking punk. He wasn't about to do nothing, man. That guy was a law by his head, so he was in the military and shit. He wasn't about to do nothing, but it, 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 it was a Jake. He had an eating like woman. And he was talking about how, oh, yeah, I got this, I got that, I got the house, I got the cars, da da da. But when he first walked up, he was telling us how the woman that he was with, you know, that was his ex wife because they're going through a divorce. So whatever they was doing together, I guess they're trying to win, win her back, which that probably, you know, failed because now he's acting act like a fool and embarrassed her, you know. She probably definitely filed, filed for the divorce now. But, uh, um,. You know, you can see like, you know, the damn, the damn crazy in his eyes. And it's because of that damn divorce, man. And I told him, I said, yeah, you talking about you got this, you got that in the third. But she, but she about to take all that. And it was a fucking Edomite woman. And, you know, just, you know, snickering in the back. You know, she's a fucking whole, whole Edomite. All right. So let's go here. And this is why the scriptures are so important for us to follow and be, you know, deep into man you got to have your head deep into these scriptures you know not deep in, you know not deep up some woman's ass get your head deep in these scriptures man because this this is a way of life okay this right here is going to teach you how, how 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 to you know uh last long on this earth okay you got guys killing themselves behind these women bro when they say a pretty face and a fat ass niggas be killing themselves bro it's my blowing their brains out blowing her in some, sometimes they kill kill the woman too, but most times they don't. They, they just kill themselves, you know. Kick, kick, you know, you know, kill their children and and themselves. Bunch of demons, man. And that's because you gave you, you gave your soul over to a to a harlot. It says Proverbs the thirty one. It says Proverbs the thirty one, verse three. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. So don't give your strength over to no woman. Nor your way is to that which destroy of kings, man. And that's what these women do, okay? They 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 they, they, they destroy kings, okay? <clears throat> Let me grab this. So many scriptures on these women. You know, the, the Bible doesn't say a lot of good things about women, okay? And the reason why is because you women, um, well, it says that you are the weaker vessel, which means you are more susceptible to Satan. You know, hey, my 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 uh, my um woman told me the other day. I should be having dreams and, you know, for the most part, she in order, but she'd be having dreams and it'd be demons trying to fuck with her to, to get her to, you know, to, to try to, you know, to irritate me, to piss me off. You know, and she and, and she knows that she told me the other day, she said, I had to be having these crazy ass dreams, but it's like the demons be trying to get me to make you mad, you know, or, or to piss you off. You know, and the reason why is because these demons, want, you know, to, to, listen, you're, a, a woman's salvation is through her man. OK. And, and, and that's why anytime something happens, if somebody breaks in your house, well, who's the first person you, that your woman going to look to? You. Okay, to go down there and save the fucking day. So when all hell breaks loose, your woman going to have to cleave to a man. That's why Isaiah said, for once, says, seven women shall take hold of one man. Why? For protection. Okay? So what, they, what the devil will try to do is try to turn, turn, turn your woman against you so that ultimately, um, you know, to uh, get to, to uh, you, you know? Which is only only going to get to get them destroyed. Anyways, I told her. I said, "Which she already know." I said, "Well, yeah, the demons trying to get you to go against me because whatever, he, whatever they can't get me yet, they're gonna try to get to, to uh, you. But ultimately, they want you to, to to make me mad or trespass against me so that I will, you know, so that we so that we fall out and I send curses upon your ass. Because we, we, hey, these women that that, that done played us and did us wrong, we done sent curses upon these women, bro. And even these men, the Lord gonna judge these motherfuckers, man. The Lord gonna judge these motherfuckers. Okay, it says." Ecclesiastes or Sirach chapter 42, verse um, verse 12, it says, Behold, not everybody's beauty. You see a beautiful woman, she's pretty. You all her face, I got a, a, a damn glistle in your eye. You over the Nah, man. You know, get used to, 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 to being an asshole to pretty women. Okay? They, 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 and they, they, they like that all the more. Pretty women love when they when they meet an asshole because that means that, that this man ain't just kissing my ass for how I look, you know. They, they see through that shit, but you see a when you see a pretty woman and and and, and, and you you know get all googly eyed and being all nice and sweet, you know, doing all type of extra favors and shit. Hell nah, man. 
And, you know, I had women try to play play that game with me. And I tell that bitch, what the fuck? Whoa, 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 what, 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 why? I need this, I need that. For what? What did you do to, to earn and deserve these? Why? Why? Because you, because you, you're a woman. You get your stupid ass on, you know, and that, and that's how you got to deal with these women. Okay. It says, behold, not everybody's beauty and sit not in the midst of women. And that's what, and that's what weak, soft, bitch ass beta simp males do. They give it, they, you know, you, have you ever had a friend? You know, you, you you remember when you was in school and you, and you had that one friend that one friend when 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 females came around, they tried to embarrass you or, you know, do do some borderline lame shit, you know, to try to, you know, m make the woman look, look at them at, at, uh, 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 more, which really that makes the woman look, look at them more like a more like a lame, you know. But, yeah, you know, that, that's what niggas do. They sit in the midst of women and start just acting like they uh, act worse than the women. You know, I remember one time we was in a car. It was this old cat we was with, you know, and it was a woman in the car, you know, needless to say, fucking harlot. But she was in a car and then I, I think I burped or something. And then, oh, my God, brother, say excuse you. There's women in the car. So I don't give a fuck about that, man. The fuck you acting like a bitch for these fucking mirror? Oh, I snapped, bro. I snapped. So I ain't finna, I ain't finna act like, 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 like no bitch because a woman is around. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fucking full grown man. Okay. I don't think it was a burp or something. It was something else. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was something that, you know, men do, you know, because I don't think I would just burp and not say, excuse me. It was something else, though. Um, and then, you know, these men started acting like fucking females, bro. And I was like, what the fuck wrong with y'all? Y'all better man the fuck up, you know? And the woman was looking at me like, <laughs> you know, she was seeing a, dy a, a dynamic of, of 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 because because the dude that was driving he was like fucking simping oh my god yo see some shit he said and i was just like yo man what the fuck are you talking about dude and that's what these guys do they try to trim their ways to seek love man from a fuck from from these fucking harlots man to hell with all that that's why guys don't want to go into the great doctrine as they call it they don't want to they don't want to talk about the multiple wives you got guys that don't teach multiple wives because because of their wife ain't gonna like it she gonna divorce them get your bitch ass on man <laughs> okay the lord said uh, gird up thy loins and show thyself, um, men, okay? Because at the end of the day, these women, they, 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 they gonna get in line, okay? They gonna get in line. The ones that's meant to get in line gonna get in line, man, all right? It says, verse 13, for, for from garments cometh a moth, and from women, wickedness, man, okay? From women come wickedness, all right? So anytime you, you around women, or, or women are around, or, or you at a party and there's a bunch of women there, Expect wickedness. Why do you think people go to these uh, these house parties and it be shootouts and shit? I saw a, 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 a story the other day. It was a fucking, it was a damn uh, sweet 16 where like seven people got shot. It was a shootout. Seven people got shot at a sweet 16. And I'll tell you why. Because there was women there, bro. Okay. I remember I was, I, I'm, I, 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 I went to the strip club one time with this guy. This is why I came to the truth. I went to the strip club with some of my friends, well, we, well, we, with one of my friends, and then he brought some of his friends, and these niggas was fucking, you know, older, you know, you know, really older bums, man. These, these guys were older, but they didn't have shit going for themselves. But this dude, particular dude, he, uh, you know, he had, he had he, his woman, you know, which he lived with her, I guess, but then she, she was a stripper, so she was a strip club, and she was giving more attention to this other dude. This nigga gets outside the car, we in the car, and he shoots off into the air. What, what, why these niggas passing by, by the car? Don't tell nobody nothing. Just shoots off into the air. And, 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 and we got to fucking, you know, we had to get up out of there. You know, the other guys, they, they could have they shot back at our, at our car. You, who knows, man? But you did all that behind some fucking woman. You risked your, 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 your life and your freedom. Not only that, our lives and our freedom all, be, all because of another woman, man. So be, 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 beware of these bitches and beware of these bitch ass niggas, all right? With that being said, I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwame Sharala, Abad, Babal, Shalom.